Welcome guys, today I'm going to show you how to edit song information in iTunes. Now we've all had this moment where you download an mp3 from the internet and this happens. You can see over here, this is iTunes and I've added a song, I've added an mp3 to iTunes. So you can see when I added it to iTunes it came up with full of unnecessary information in the name of the, in the, name of the song. So you can see who sings it and uh, the number of the track and all of that. All I want to know basically is the name of the song. I don't need to know who's singing it. The The person who's singing it will go under artist, the album will go under album. But you can see over here, as I'm showing you the album, that it's not actually giving me the album name, it's just full of adverts from the site that I downloaded it from. So this happens to everyone. I mean, if you're downloading it from a site, you get unnecessary adverts coming up here. You get the name of the website you got it from, you get unnecessary information in the title. So all of that is unnecessary. So today I'm going to show you how to edit this information so you can only put what's important in the name of the song. So here you can see is a song that I selected full of unnecessary information. It's very simple. All you got to do is right click and then you're going to go to get info. Once you press this, you get all the information about the song and you are free to edit it. So if I go under info, there's the name of the song. So from here, the only thing I need from the song the only thing that I need is the name, so I can backspace all of that and delete all of that. So now I'm only left with the name of the song, which is much more convenient. Under artist, you can see once again, we have this uh, website name over here. I don't need that, so I can take that out. Even this, I don't need the name of the song in the artist name. You understand? I only need who's singing it. Then album artist, I don't need that. The actual album that is from, I'm not too sure. Grouping, don't know what that is. Composer, don't know what that is. And you can see how quickly and clearly your music will come up now. And under genre, you can put, let's go find pop. I think they have it, yeah, there's it. So now you can see how much simpler everything looks. You don't have these ugly adverts. You can even put the year that the song was made in. So let's put, uh, uh, what's it, 2013? Okay, I think it came out in 2013. There we go. Now you can even move further down and you can put in the album artist, the name of the album, basically the same thing. Under options, you can also decide whether you want it to be under your music folder, under your podcast folder, iTunes U, audiobook or voice memo. But this is a song, so I'll put it under music. And you can also change the album artwork. So if you don't like this picture, you can simply delete and add another picture in that gap. So that's basically it. Now you know how to edit song information in iTunes. Now the song still stays in iTunes, it will just move to a different place. And now you can see in the iTunes lineup how much simpler the design looks. You can see we have all the information here, nothing unnecessary, and nothing less, nothing too much. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Bye bye.